In this video, we're going to look at factoring four different polynomials. Let's examine this one first of all. Whenever you're asked to factor a polynomial, always look for a common factor. Notice that there's a common factor of x in each one of the terms here. Once we factor out the x, we've got uh, 4x plus 1 left on the inside of the parentheses, and there's no more factoring that's available. In this next problem, we're interested in factoring 6x squared plus 13x minus 8. We look for a common factor. There is none. We notice that this is a trinomial, and we know that sometimes that two binomials will multiply to give, together to give us a trinomial. So we need to have something times x times something times x, which would be 6x squared. And then we're going to have to have two things that multiply together to give us a negative 8. So that me means that one of these will have to be a positive and one of these will have to be a negative and then we've got the problem of getting the middle term to work out correctly. So let's consider all of the possibilities. We could have a 6 and a 1 in front of the x's. We could have a 2 and a 3 in front of the x's. For the uh, getting the 8 we could get a 1 and an 8, a 2 and a 4, a 4 and a 2, and there's all this plus and minus stuff that we need to worry about. We need to sort through all of those possibilities to see if we can't find one that will produce a, a thir positive 13x as the middle term. So my choices for the coefficients on x are 2 and 3 and 1 and 6, um, and the choices for the constant coefficient is 2 and 4 and 1 and 8. So I need to look through the possibilities that are available there. For the x's, I might choose a 1 and a 6 and an 8 and a 1. Then I'd have a 1 times 1 is 1 and a 6 times 8 is, is 48. And those aren't going to subtract and give me 13, so that doesn't look like a good choice. We have to search through and, and consider all of the possibilities, but here's the, possi here's the solution that works. If I choose a 2 and a 3 <coughs> on the coefficient on the x's and a 1 and 8 as the constants, then I'll have a 16 and a, and a 3, and those subtract from each other and give us 13. So now I just have to line them up right with the plus and minuses here. Because I want the result to be a positive 13, I want to have the 2 and the 8 produce a positive amount. So I want the 8 to be positive and Multiply by a positive 2x, that will give me the positive 16. The 3x times a minus 1 will give me a minus 3x. And so the 16 minus the 3x will give me the positive 13. And notice we've got things worked out so that, of course, the 3x times the 2x will be a 6x squared. The 8 times the minus 1 will be, give me the, the minus 8. And now we work things out so that the middle term works out fine. So we check through a number of possibilities to find the, how it factored, and of course we check by multiplying. Number 17 is the difference of two squares. We know how differences of two squares multiply, how the difference of two squares factor. First, we observe that x squared minus 100 is really x squared minus 10 squared, and that factors to be x minus 10 times x plus 10, and the and the check shows that that's true because the middle term adds up to zero. The next problem, remember, always look for a common factor. So when we're looking at this thing, we notice that there's a common factor of x and there's a common factor of 2. So let's do that factoring first. Now the important thing here is to factor completely. So we need to look at x squared minus 5x plus 6 and see if that will factor further. Notice that we've got a plus uh, 6 here on the end, so we're going to, so this will factor as two binomials, possibly, uh, with a minus on each of them. Because it's plus 6, the constant term is positive and the middle term is negative, we'll need to have x minus something and x minus something. We need to get two things that multiply together to give us 6, 
and add together to give 5. 2 and 3 looks like they'll work. So there we are. And of course the test is, does this all multiply together to give us the original uh, expression? And it does.